We had a pretty awesome rain this morning here where I live. And I just love sitting outside, watching the rain, seeing the lightning, hearing the rain fall on the ground, on the roof of the house. We even had some hail today and the hail was lining up and my wife and son were out here with me. We were watching it, having a great time catching the hail and stuff like that. I was able to take some pictures of this because I want to be able to remember it. Which leads me to the, one of the other things that I like to do is look back at old pictures. One day I'm going to look back at these pictures from today and go, wow, do you remember that hailstorm? And it'll be really fun to think back upon this. I have a lot of pictures on my phone and I'm sure you do too. And I love being able to go through those pictures and I say to myself, wow, that was a cool Christmas, wasn't it? Or I look back and I say, wow, was I really that skinny once? Or, wow, look how we've changed. I don't remember having that much gray. Or, wow, remember how small the kids were then? And we just have the opportunity to just look back and to see how has life changed. What's different over the last several years? It's just neat to see. It's just really neat to see. But that's not the only way we can look back in time to see what's different in our lives. Once you've come to accepted Christ as your Savior, and then time has passed and you've been discipled and you're walking with him and you look back at the events of your life before Christ came into your life, I'm going to guess if you're anything like me, you've done things that you're ashamed of, that you're embarrassed of, there are events in your life that you don't always tell people. You kind of keep to yourself. There's plenty of them. There's all kinds of things in our lives that we're not proud of. But praise be to God that in Christ, he's taken that shame and that embarrassment. He's taken the guilt and he took it all on himself when he hung there on the cross. And you don't have to be so ashamed of what you used to do because Christ paid for it when he was on that cross. All the nonsense and negativity, the sewage that you used to swim in before you were a believer, yeah, it's all paid for. It's all done and gone. And as, in a, as we continue in our five-minute messages in chapter four, we're going to be looking at verses three, four, and five. We're going to read these words. For we have spent enough of our past lifetime doing the will of the Gentiles. When we walked in lewdness, lusts, drunkenness, revelries, drinking parties, abominable idolatries. In regard to these, they think it strange that you do not run with them in the same flood of dissipation, speaking evil of you. They will give an account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. Can you look back in your life and think to yourself, wow, I used to do those things before I knew Christ. I used to cuss like a sailor. I did this and I did that. But praise be to God, now that I'm in Christ, I don't do those things anymore. God has changed me, and he's completely revolutionized who I am. And I've got a love for him that can't be quenched. And I don't do this stuff anymore, walking in the will of the Gentiles. I'm not a drunkard anymore. I don't follow my lusts anymore. I don't walk in lewdness anymore. I don't do drinking parties. I don't have abominable idolatries. I don't walk in the ways of the Gentiles any longer. As I look at the photo album of my life, I can tell exactly when I accepted Jesus because my life changed that day and I don't do this stuff anymore. And the reality is that when you accept Christ and you start walking now for him and you stop doing those abominable idolatries, people are going to take notice and they're going to realize that you're a different person now. You don't do what you used to do. You don't tell those same jokes and your old friends that you told those jokes with, they don't like that you're different now. They don't appreciate how you've changed. They think it's strange that you don't run in the same flood of dissipation with them any longer. You don't do those same sort of things any longer. You can look back and you can see when it changed. But here's the good news. When they do make fun of you and they tell you how you've changed and they don't like you anymore, they will give an account to him who's ready to judge the living and the dead. You just take heart. You just keep running strong. You just stay with the Lord. Don't give up. He's always with you. You let God deal with them. And it's okay that he deals with them. Because you're not going to do those same sorts of stupid things that you once did. <laughs>